Good morning. Today's episode of Apollo 24-7's Health Eye is going to be very interesting. We are going to talk about COVID vaccinations. We all know that COVID vaccination is the only way to end this pandemic and keep us safe. But yet, there are so many myths and rumors around it. Let's debunk all these rumors, get answers for the doubts and questions that you have. Join us in the live session as a very senior pulmonologist who has more than 25 years of experience in the field of respiratory medicine, Dr. S. J. Raman is going to join us. See you there, 11 a.m. sharp. It's always been there, standing between you and your health. A wall, between a pain that won't disappear and a doctor who magically appears. Between a long wait on a hospital bench and staying right where you are, at home. Between finding yourself out of medicines and finding them at your doorstep, whatever the time. Between years of health records all over the place and all your records in one organized access from anywhere place. Between your current regimen and the recommended routine. The wall. We don't need it anymore. Say hello to Apollo 24-7. This is India's largest end-to-end -end omni-channel healthcare ecosystem. Designed to touch more lives than ever before and delivering its promise in three important ways. One, listen. Talk to us anytime from anywhere. We've got 7,000 doctors and 30,000 healthcare professionals listening. Two, advise. We'll give you expert advice. Advice you can rely on because it comes from India's number one healthcare provider. Three, assist. We bring you India's largest health network of pharmacies, clinics, hospitals, and health insurance experts. 20 million people already trust us for their care, and a further 50,000 people are discovering this every day. Apollo 24-7. Expertise is for everyone. Namaskar and welcome to Health Hour with Apollo 24 Expert 24 7 Experts. Every Sunday we bring you an expert from Apollo Group to address the questions and queries and the doubts that you might have. And here today we are going to discuss a very, very important topic. We are going to talk about the COVID-19 vaccine myths and facts. We all know that vaccine is very important for all of us, but yet there is still hesitancy. There are doubts that booster ke bare mein, bachon ke vaccine ke bare mein, there are a lot of doubts. So here's an opportunity for you all to clear these doubts. Joining us very shortly is a very senior consultant pulmonologist from Apollo Hospitals, First Med Hospitals, Chennai, Dr. S. J. Raman, who's going to answer your questions in the live. So join us, ask all your questions in the chat box. You can type your question and I'll take these questions up in the live session. 
Also on the show, you can win prizes from Apollo 24-7. We are going to ask you three questions in the health quiz. Be with us. You can also get discount vouchers and gift coupons towards the end of the show. So let's start the show by talking about vaccine itself. We are vaccinated. I hope you're all uh, vaccinated too. Uh, if you are still waiting to get vaccinated or if you have somebody in your family to get vaccinated, it's now hassle free. There's no more waiting. There is no more hassles. You can book your vaccination slots in Apollo 24-7. You can download the app, Apollo 24-7 app from your Play Store. You, you can uh, click on book vaccination slot. That's it. You can choose from 200 uh, vaccination centers around India. Select the vaccination type that you want and select the dose. That's it. It's quick, safe and easy. You want more details about this? Then scan the QR code which is on the screen. Book your shot. Uh, you book your slot and get your shot right away. So moving on, let me also talk about a wonderful initiative which is taken up by Apollo Foundation and Apollo 24-7. This is called Sachi, Saving a Child's Health Initiative. This is free pediatric consults for every child in need. Sachi, in association with Apollo 24-7 app, is on a mission to make quality healthcare accessible to underprivileged children at no cost. So if you know any child who requires this kind of consultation from pediatrics, there are more than 10 pediatric specialities uh, who have come forward to give their services free, renowned Apollo pediatricians. This is a great opportunity. Please go ahead, scan the QR code to know more about this initiative. And now let's expert, let's uh, invite our expert for the day. We have uh, Dr. S. J. Raman joining us now, who's a senior consultant pulmonologist at Apollo First Med Hospitals, Chennai, who has more than 25 years of experience in managing COPD and bronchial diseases. He's the president of Indian Medical Association, Chennai, member academic and research committee of IMA TNSB. Special interests include interventional pulmonology and sleep medicine. He's presented prestigious Dr. S. Arul Raj oration in uh, TemaCon 2017. And he is an author of several publications in national and international journals. Namaskar. Welcome to the show, Dr. Jairaman. Namaste. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Welcome. Greetings. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's our honor. Uh, it's our uh, pleasure to have you on the show. As India has battled, the uh, world has uh, seen worse conditions. We are now getting better. I, I hope you are now more experienced. You have given our uh, uh, people the best of services uh, during pandemic. So thank you to you and uh, to the entire team there. Now that you have a little more experience on handling COVID, now that the vaccine is there, how does this uh, uh, scenario look right now, sir? Yeah. Currently in India, so we are in the uh, second phase of COVID pandemic, it's almost uh, nearing the end. Some of the places we are seeing some cluster of cases coming up. We do not know exactly whether it's at the beginning of third wave or is it the ending of second wave itself, the same virus and all. So still a lot of uh, no, uh, controversies going on. Anyway, so overall this uh, looking in the, when it comes to first and second wave, so this is almost second wave again. So for the past two months is uh, you know, good to see all the uh, school children. No, very happy to you know go into the school for the past over two three days in Tamil Nadu and other areas. So this is a welcoming thing because of the you know um, we have a lot of uh, awareness program through Apollo. We are creating a lot of awareness among the uh, SMS that is a uh, sanitization, mask, and uh, social distancing along with the vaccination. Vaccination is one of the powerful weapon against the infection prevention. So we are all handling uh, effectively, I believe. In our Tamil Nadu, there are 15 zones in Chennai. So we have a 24 bar 7 vaccination centers that are available. Anytime you can go and take the vaccinations without any booking at all. So it's the walk in vaccination centers are available. Apollo is doing awesome services in Chennai and other throughout the world, India. So the vaccine awareness is coming up. So the uh, exactly. overall, uh, is, yeah, is uh, coming up is nice way schools are now reopening with utmost precautions. Uh, so nowadays we are uh, going to end the second wave. So almost we are you know, uh, not ending with third wave. If at all third wave comes, definitely we can tackle very easily. Oh so damage we can uh, manage the third wave at all. Yeah. Great positivity, doctor. With that, uh, let me also point out while we are full on, full swing going on with the vaccination program, while Apollo is uh, on a great mission of vaccinating India, 
there is still hesitancy surrounding vaccination. There are a lot of uh, myths around. Each vaccination, each uh, company promising certain amount of efficacy. Do you think that this is going to affect making the choice of the vaccine that one can take? Yeah. See, in India, there are a lot of people hesitant to take vaccinations because of some side effect, uh, because of the medias and you no know, lot of uh, no, multifactorial. But in general, so vaccine, we are using several decades for several diseases. You take the children's, we have a very pakka program for the you know, university initiation program for children. Likewise, we have adult vaccinations already we have, like pneumococcal, influenza, cancer cervix, Nginx B, that is hepatitis vaccines, and a lot of vaccines for adults also. Now we are all struggling with the COVID pandemic more than 18 months. But now, because of the pandemic, so the government, WHO and ICMR, so they are manufacturing and starting vaccine uh, in the emergency basis. But as per the scientist report says that uh, the all the vaccines are good, very good effect. Because all uh, nowadays we are all using the killed vaccine or inactivated vaccine or a highly potent vaccine. The effect, efficacy wise is a very you know very good to protect against these type of infections and reduce the hospitalization. So still we are struggling with the hesitancy in India. As of now, the the people completed the two doses percentage wise only twelve percent only twelve percent only so two doses. But single dose vaccine they completed almost uh, uh, forty percent people. So remaining yeah. lot of people do have some hesitancy. There is some you no. Know, a uh, lot of multifactorial factors, uh, you know, uh, in general, vaccines are good. Vaccines are biological substances. Nowadays, we have effective technology to produce a vaccine against the infections. And the, the lot of in, the infectious causes of malignancy also. So the, this is all the important protective against the you know, uh, infection part. Nowadays, we are all uh, having a very good vaccine. In India, we have two effective vaccinations for vaccine and COVID-19. Lot of other vaccines they are you know, uh, coming up with the pipeline. So all are good potency, more than 70-80% efficacy, protective uh, thing is there. So in my point of view, we are getting a lot of awareness through Apollo portal, all our efficacy is safety to take vaccines. So nobody, you know, without any vaccinations, so we can't tell you. It's in every patient we are advising to take adult vaccination. That too, in this pandemic, we are advising to take the two doses of uh, COVID vaccination as per the government protocol. Right. Doctor, uh, as we are talking about vaccines, it's all about 18 plus. Now that uh, children of uh, 12 to 18 are also uh, in the bracket that they can get vaccination, what is your opinion and what is your uh, take on uh, children's vaccinations and what are the factors to be considered before uh, children can be vaccinated? Yeah. Children and the older adults, you compare the immunity status. When you compare to older adults, children have a growing immunity. Older people, 60 plus, they have a declining immunity. They are more chance to get the infection. But in a growing children, five years after that, they have a growing immunity, good regeneration capacity, and fighting capacity are more. They have a very fresh line, fresh system. So they have a you no know, more benefit. Benefit in the sense uh, they have more highly protective than older adults. When you come back to older adults, children are highly protective. Thereby, the scientist reports clearly says that. Uh, if at all third wave comes, children are no, not much affected, affected by the COVID uh, infections because of the growing immunity and regenerating capacity is more in the land and the clean, pure land. When you compare to adult land, they have a lot of aerosol, a lot of pollutions in the land. But children, they are all at home and the schools. They have very limited number of pollution and a very clear land. They will know easily, they can come out easily. If at all they catch mild infection, two, three days it will be there, it will go. That's why the government is planning to reopen the schools and 9, 10, 11, 12 centers there. So slowly we are improving in that way. This is my take on that. Wonderful. Uh, so doctor, now that the vaccination for uh, kids is also being available, it will come uh, quite uh, soon that we we'll see that children can be vaccinated. Is it a different vaccine from the adult dose? Is the uh, needle different? What is the difference between both of them? Yeah. When you compare the adult and children's vaccine, more or less the same. Example, so we are giving the influenza vaccinations. So there are so many training available, influenza vaccination, h one n vaccinations, adult and the now uh, pediatric age group. Adult, we give the 0.5 cc. In children, we give you know, less than you know, half the dose of the dose we can administer up to 12 years of age group of the children. 
and uh, the you know now we are going to make the effective vaccination for children also to prevent the covid infections so as of now we have adult vaccination pakka for the covid 19 children also bharat biotech they are going to manufacture produce the nasal vaccine and the other you uh, know um, uh, manufacturer pharmaceutical companies are manuf- you know, manufacturing the injectable vaccines so both are efficacious same there is uh, not much of different but both are same biological substances Uh, yes, doctor. As schools and colleges you were mentioning are reopening, even in our state, I am coming from Telangana. Here also, a certain amount of schools and certain population children are also getting back to schools and colleges. Now, how safe is it to send the children back to school, and what are the pro- uh, the protocols that children or the education institutions or parents have to follow? Yeah. First of all, the, now nowadays schools are reopening for 9, 10, 11, 12 standards. They are maintaining the school level all physical distancing. Previously, in the same bench, they sit four people. Nowadays, uh, no, as per the recommendation, the students are sitting only two at the edge only two with the physical distancing, wearing the mask, and taking the other seniors like teachers and the school people, admin people, drivers. They are all fully vaccinated. This is a rule. They are they are following in our state and throughout India. so the parents and the school teachers they have to vaccinate very very important even single dose is effective only so with that only you have to allow the children to come to the school any children is having any cough cold any you know symptoms of any flu or covid symptoms they restrict so this way we are progressing so this is a very safe to start slowly because of the declining cases increased number of the vaccination strategy so safely with the utmost precautions we can open the schools and slowly we can uh, no uh, do all the proper behaviors the wearing of mask and social distancing and hand hygiene all important so with that uh, production they can come to the school and learn the you know offline classes so this way we can slowly start the uh, third wave covid so we can we can prevent we can prevent yeah wonderful doctor thank you so much as a parent that gives me a lot of assurance because we have seen children at home struggling with a lot of other issues social and development issues not just education so i am glad that we are opening up and we are uh, letting children come back so uh, as i was planning to ask my next question i see a question on youtube as well shishir mokati is also asking the same question do we have accurate reports on already vaccinated individuals getting infected again we infection after it's not just we infection but infection after covid and how are the recovery of these people as compared to not vaccinated or partially vaccinated people yeah There are there are a lot of studies between the vaccinated people getting infection and non-vaccinated people getting infection. There are studies going on. The interim report clearly says that those who are taking vaccinations already, if they catch the infections, they have a very milder form. They don't require any hospitalization. They don't require any ICU. There is a less less mortality. That means uh, no uh, issue in that. If those who are not taking the vaccination, they get an infection. Chances of developing the moderate severe infection, they may require hospitalization, ICU care, and all. So the take-home message is very clear: vaccinated people are highly safe than the non-vaccinated people. This is the report clearly says that there is a high efficacy rate of the vaccination. Yes. Right. So wonderful answer. Very clean, high rate of efficacy of vaccine is already proven. Just thank you so much for asking that question. Next question that I want to ask is about. booster dose question a lot of people are asking uh, let me also uh, name them a few of them uh, booster question is nagendra is also asking the same question can we take a booster dose what is a booster dose for is it available on official channels has government given permission for booster doses who is eligible for a booster dose yeah regarding the booster dose or third dose as of now the who recommendations and the indian council of medical research recommendations saying that lot of trial is going on in western world like us and all they are taking giving the third dose of uh, pfizer moderna whatever the available there in india as per icmr we are following the protocol for the covid prevention because covid is a public health disease pandemic disease so we have to follow the government orders official public health we have to follow the public health official orders so as of now in india there is no third dose or booster dose but trial is going on after 6 months or 9 months when to take what type of do what type of injection you take same you take uh, first dose covid or covaxin means again the booster dose we have covaxin or is a covid shield or you can mix the vaccine the lot of trial is going on as of now 
as the government recommendation very clear that complete the two doses of vaccine and follow other covid appropriate behavior we have to wait for other research reports then only we can start taking the third vaccinations when to take what are the strategies they will form very clearly before we are taking third dose or booster dose what are the tests to be done or we can take uh, clearly six months later we can uh, take the vaccines so we are waiting for the government recommendation we are the clinicians so what are the research says and the official report government report so we have to follow and uh, no you have no we have to you know, apply to the general public this is the way we uh, proceed yes yes doctor uh, which is very important to follow the guidelines because there are people who are formulating certain guidelines for the entire nation so are there any um, uh, there, there's somebody who's asking somebody is diabetic finished their uh, both doses of covid vaccination can i get a third dose on a special uh, interest so is there a population or a segment of population who requires a, a third uh, specific dose yeah see previously we have a influenza influenza as per the recommendation of who every year we have to take the vaccination not all the people okay. risky people in the sense that 50 plus and less than 50 those who are having chronic ailment the government is recommending and infection disease society and the world health organization icmr is recommending to take the annual flu vaccination for risky group and less than 50 those who are having a chronic uh, ailment that is a comorbid conditions same way here because of the mutant variations variant virus mutant viruses so covid also may require third dose and further dose or periodical dosages this all this is going on because this novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 virus is a new virus for the past 18 months we are struggling here there are a lot of pathogenesis lot of you know, immune uh, you know, uh, mechanisms uh, play replacing the role a lot of mutant viruses we are seeing every days we see the alpha beta now we are seeing all delta beta plus and all so based on the scientific report microbiologist report icmr report we have to follow whether third dose is required yes definitely requires i think because in the level of immunity antibody level will drop means they have again exposed to viruses so till then we have to carry all smsv that is a standard protocol to prevent unnecessary infection so we have to wait and watch the what the government recommendation icmr recommendation and who's recommendations so we have to follow the third dose is mandatory when what the drug the same uh, vaccine or different vaccine all in the pipeline this is going on very clearly we know another couple of months time wonderful but the next question which is ruling the roost here right now uh, on my chat box is about antibodies so a lot of people are asking checking antibodies and uh, when to do the test what if the igg test shows very less antibody less than 0.25 after one month of second dose what can be done and what are the tests to check these antibodies if the vaccine is working or not sabita vijay kumar and a lot of them are asking this question yeah regarding the covid antibody so we usually we measure the igg igg antibody is a protective antibody usually we do the blood test and serum to find out the so igg level so usually if you take the vaccines today two weeks later you can expect to develop the uh, igg antibody in the blood level so the second dose also after two weeks you have a complete immunity to, to develop igg antibody is a protective antibody some of the people they have you know uh, declined immunity after three months or four months of you know, vaccinations or natural infections that's why we are advising the covid infected patients so want to take the vaccinations usual recommendation from icmr is the three months after the symptom there is a first symptom if you start in may first means uh, they will take the vaccine three months later that means june july august august this is the ideal time to take the vaccination as for the government recommendation three months after the symptom you can take the vaccination same way how you can you can check the antibody or directly you can go for the vaccination there is no need to test everybody compulsorily because we have done a test called the zero prevalence this is mainly for the zero prevalence how many people are you now developing the antibody so this is the now for the um, epidemiological purposes scientists they will do the uh, the how much uh, patient how for how for all the patients they got the IgG antibody level protective against the COVID-19. This is mainly for the prevalence and future planning action. Right. What if somebody doesn't show uh, antibodies, IgG antibodies present, or somebody like Sabita who says it's very less? Do they need to worry that the vaccine is not effective enough? Is this a, a measure to uh, measure the efficacy of the vaccine? Yeah. 
see in the blood level the antibody production varies person to person based on the immunity level based of a multifactorial so each patient is you know, different so some patient they have immunity for igg will persist for three months somebody will have nine months also because the we are dealing with for the past 18 months only more than 18 20 months we are dealing we are struggling with the covid pandemic so a lot of antibody and the new infections variant infections there are a lot of uh, uh, controversy and the real research is going on so we have to wait and watch the what uh, research people are telling when to take vaccination when to do the antibody test is it uh, your uh, antibody will completely gone you are risk enough to get the, again uh, the infection at all so there are a lot of uh, no, questions are there Still, as a clinician point of view, so we have to follow the all uh, preventive strategy and the, we have to wait for the government clear-cut recommendations. So if, if you go and ask any center, I want to take a third dose or booster dose vaccine, they won't give vaccine. And the, as to the recommendation, we have only two doses only, whether co-vaccine or co-vaccine and all. Third dose when to take, what kind of uh, no, uh, vaccine you are, you are going to take, whether take the same kind of medicine or different kind of vaccinations. And now we have to wait and watch. Yes. Okay. So now for some myths, rumors, doubts, and questions. So I'll I'll quickly uh, ask these myths and rumors. You can uh, scratch them, say them, uh, you know, give them answers uh, in one word also if you think. So uh, does the COVID vaccination affect fertility in men and women? Hundred percent. There is no impact on fertility, and this is completely is uh, you know uh, not a no, evidence based one. There is uh, no uh, uh, there is negative effect on the uh, infertility or reproductive system. So uh, all persons, all the uh, persons, so government clearly announced that the pregnant people they can take take the vaccination, and like mothers they can take vaccination. Children also they don't take vaccinations. And there is no major contraindication for vaccination. Infertility, there is no absolute contraindication, no relative contraindication. Safely, they're all, you know, uh, take the vaccination. It won't cause any infertility issues in men and women. There is a completely wrong statement. Yes. Right. So, will the COVID vaccination alter DNA in human beings? Uh, there is a study is going on. There is uh, not much of changes uh, in that. Uh, so no need to worry about uh, other uh, thing at all. So as of now, very clear cut. So vaccines, those who are not taking the contraindication of vaccine, all mainly the biologicals, that is uh, immunosuppressive medications. So wait for two weeks, stop the immunosuppressive medications like methotrexate, formatoid, and other. Otherwise, everybody are eligible to take the vaccinations. So uh, in foreign countries, they are starting vaccination children also. There is no major uh, contraindication for this type of vaccination in these subgroup of patients. Yes. Right. And my last question in this series would be, there are not enough uh, clinical trials which have happened is a lot of people's doubt. So is it safe to take vaccines which are not completed, uh, which have not completed the trials? Which are not completed? The enough trials. People believe that they have not enough uh, trials, which are clinical trials, okay. which have been done. Okay, 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 okay. See, already the vaccine trial undergone phase one, phase two, phase three trial and all. Covaxin, Covishield, uh, other vaccines coming up in the right line. All they have a clear cut proven animal trials and human trials. And during the third trial, only all the, you know, uh, efficacious and the safety, everything they check completely. So as for the scientist clearly says that this is a biological substance inactivated and killed vaccine. We are not using the live vaccinations. So without any hesitancy, without any fear, so boldly you can take. All the medical scientists invented very, within a short time period, they have, you know, uh, vaccine is one of the good purpose. So we have to utilize, we have to utilize and take and protect our nation, protect our uh, world. This is important, basic fundamental thing. Yes. Yes, doctor. Wonderful vaccine is very important. It is a boon for mankind. Go ahead, get your shot. If you have not yet got your shot, Apollo is the platform that you can choose. It's very easy. You can just walk in also in any of the 200 plus vaccination centers. More details, I can uh, share the screen. Also, Rewards for Vaccination is a program that Apollo is running. I will give you more information towards the end of the show. All right, doctor, now that a lot of people are vaccinated, everybody thinks that, yes, I'm vaccinated and I'm safe. No more safety measures. Is that true? What are the precautions that one has to take even if I'm vaccinated? Yeah. 
those who are vaccinated compulsorily they have to follow all the covid appropriate behavior that is yes yeah yes yes stands for sanitization or soap water washing frequently and washing very very important second m stands for mask very very important this is a social vaccine m now mask is social vaccine very very important not uh, we are wishing to wear everybody wear the n95 mask n95 respiratory mask and all simple double layer cloth mask is more than sufficient to protect against the against this type of covid infection and the physical distancing at least 6 feet because this is a aerosol airborne disease aerosol borne disease so 6 feet minimum so while coughing and all is very very important while speaking also it spread in the air so to prevent that the sms sanitization mask and social distancing or physical distancing is important everybody whether you are vaccinated or not vaccinated vaccinated people more careful while they are traveling in the you no know, uh, public transport like train or bus they have to meticulously adhere the rules of the uh, covid appropriate behavior like uh, wearing a mask correctly so th- then only we can prevent a further infection if at all two doses right. completed again chances of getting mild infection is there so to prevent even mild infection getting in you have to wear all covid appropriate behavior to prevent unnecessary infection and uh, morbidity and all so this is a uh, take on this my take yes ma'am. so uh, yeah this here's a question uh, from lalita with only wearing mask can i help a covid patient is it sufficient or should i be wearing a ppe kit at home she has somebody i suppose how to keep uh, uh, our family members can we move along with the other covid patients in the family i'm sorry i'm sorry let me rephrase the question after how many days can i move along with the covid patient within the family is mask sufficient to help a covid patient or do i have to use a full ppe kit yeah full ppe kit and the mask and the face shield and all mandatory for the those who are taking care of covid patient covid active covid patients so minimum 14 days to 28 time periods this is infectious period so must be very careful 14 days to 28 day. maximum 28 days sir. we have to isolate home isolation or hospital isolation during the time those who are uh, you not know, taking care whether is uh, no at a home whether uh, wife or mother or children whether anybody they have to wear all the you know, covid appropriate dressings like uh, minimum is the uh, mask is very very important and minimize the time spending the you no know, uh, in the isolation room and if you in the hospital or the, the covid care center the face shield is uh, important and the uh, mask in the hospital person in the hospital workers healthcare workers they have to wear the n95 mask and the face shield is very very important apart from this uh, full pp in the home isolated people once so 14 days to 20 days period is over no need to you uh, know uh, wear a pp and all just uh, for the precaution sake they have to wear the simple two layer mask is more than sufficient in the home isolated people once 20 days over so the chances of infection from person to person is uh, no little so we have to maintain even uh, in the home also during the uh, 14 20 days period we have to wear the mask meticulously address the patients those who you, you want to give any tablet or any medications wear the mask and go and uh, no cap so this is the way we have to follow as per the recommendations of the indian council of medical research and the who yes ma'am. right uh, doctor i am surprised that nobody has asked I've, i've been waiting to see if somebody asked this question but nobody has asked so i will ask this question on everybody else's behalf now that like there are a lot of variants which are showing up this morning also in the newspapers i saw a new kind of variant of delta plus which is going around in uh, the telugu states as well so uh, how are our vaccines efficient with the new uh, variants which are cropping up every day yeah see the uh, no covid 19 infection caused by sars cov 2 virus these viruses are comes from the larger family of the corona family corona family so the vaccine the the the, the scientists uh, no dedicated uh, the people they have manufactured to cover the entire group of corona family viruses so some variations some mutations will be there so definitely these vaccines are more than 60% protection against these type of mutant and variant viruses there is no hesitancy or no dilemma in taking vaccination now there is a completely changing viruses is there an effect in the same like uh, previous viruses and all definitely there is a safety and efficacy wise is uh, equivalent very little by 10% variation will be there because of the immunity level and the multiple factors and comorbid conditions so otherwise the variant viruses mutant viruses 
all the vaccines are highly efficacious because of the same family of viruses only. This is not a new virus. This is the same kind of a corona family. Under the corona umbrella, it will come. So the vaccine, uh, you know, the, uh, the medical scientists, uh, they have a highly the genetically engineered technology. Now we are using with the advent of a lot of advancements in the uh, genetics. So there is uh, no hesitancy. There is no dilemma in that. Definitely there will be a high efficacy. 5 to 10% variation will be there in the efficacy or safety ways. Otherwise, it's fine. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you, Doctor, for answering that. Next question is Mr. Anil Kumar Sharma's question: Is fever must after vaccine? And to continue this question, there are people who have experienced symptoms after taking first dose and no symptoms after second dose. So, are these symptoms a, a factor to show that my vaccine is efficient on my body? Yeah. See, again, uh, some, are, some of the patients, they took the vaccine immediately after 12 hours, 24 hours, they may develop some uh, you know, flu-like illnesses. There is some fever, body pain, tiredness. Majority, they won't develop any symptoms at all. Some of the patients, they may develop symptoms. It depends upon the immunity level, person-to-person -person variation. They are multifactorial. So, you don't worry about that. After I, am, I, I got yesterday a shot. I didn't have any symptoms, whether I, I have, uh, no, uh, whether really... <laughs> I have a no passive infection or not really I develop any antibody against this uh, COVID infection. There is no doubt at all. This is person to person variation. Some people they may develop the symptoms of uh, no, the vaccinations like uh, flu like symptoms like mild fever, body pain and all. Some of them they won't develop anything. There is uh, not much worry about this kind of thing. There is a uh, definitely there will be an immune, immune level will form in the system and they have a protective against these type of uh, infection. Definitely, after first dose, you may develop a 30 to 40 percent protection against the infection. But if you complete the second dose, after two weeks of second dose, so you develop the 70 to 80 percent of the protection against the COVID 19 infection. So, this way we are advising to the people no dilemma at all. Right. Uh, to continue the same question and the same topic, Sureman Verma is asking after taking COVID vaccination, COVID shield dose one, I felt long term fatigue and body pain up to one month. But after second dose, it lasted only for two days. Is this normal or do I need to get checked? Yeah, this is almost a normal variation. This is not a normal, normal variation. Some people will have a first dose. After the first dose, they may develop fever for two, three days, pain, swelling and fatigue and all. After second dose, no, they may develop, they won't develop any of the symptoms of any post-vaccination no, status. That depends upon the, already said, based on the immunity level and the multifactorial, multifactorial. So no need to worry about that. Look, I, I, I had an infection first dose, second dose, I didn't have any infection. Whether uh, my second dose is effective or not, no dilemma at all. There is a lot of variation okay. in the symptomatology and the presentation. Yes. Okay. So antibody special again coming up, Mr. Vijay Kumar asks, after completion of three months of two doses of vaccine, is it required to check antibodies test IgG? Are there any other tests? Uh, even Ravi Keshav asks, I had both doses of COVID shield. I did IgM, COVID SARS test. My reading is only 0.34 and antibodies are very low. Do I require a booster dose? Yeah. As of now, the recommendation is very clear that you have to complete two doses of COVID vaccination and you have to follow the COVID appropriate behavior. No need to test routinely for antibody test and no need to take a routine a third dose or booster dose at all. As of now, there is no recommendation to take a third dose. Yeah, you have a low immunity, you go and take a third dose. There is no recommendation, no paper, and no scientific recommendation from ICMR. We have followed certainly because this COVID-19 is a public health issue now. Throughout the world, the pandemic, more than 50 countries are affected by these COVID infections. Now, India, we are all in the second next to USA. So, as for the recommendations, only we have to go. So, uh, the very clear care. The ICMR, Indian Council of Medical, this is clear guidelines. No need to do routine testing of antibody. No need to take a third dose. We have to wait. Finish your second dose and to follow COVID appropriate behavior. This way we have to no, uh, finish the you know, COVID uh, pandemic. Yeah. Wonderful, doctor. So here's a question from Harshita, who is ninth month pregnant now, 36 weeks. Uh, when can I take COVID vaccine? Please let me know. I'm surprised, Harshita, that you are still not vaccinated. Yeah. Now the recommendation is very clear again. More than uh, no, uh, four or five months, the government announced clearly all the pregnant yes. and like mothers who are eligible to take vaccination. Don't hesitate immediately. Government announcements and next minute even go on vaccinations as per the 
uh, which was the vaccine available nearby center where the covaxin the covaxin which was the vaccine available please take and protect against that this uh, this injection this vaccine protect against the growing baby also growing fetus also this is a very important uh, no uh, there is a effect so any pregnant woman immediately don't hesitate take the vaccines immediately nearby center whichever the vaccine available please take protect against the covid infection right there was another question uh, with the kind of vaccine the type of vaccine nikhil r paul is asking if government allows zydus cadila dna vaccine for children below between 12 and 18 should the kids take this vaccine uh this is the first uh, uh, dna vaccine this being the first dna vaccine any comment on its long term consequences yeah see new vaccines are coming for the children uh, in the western world they already started vaccinating you uh, know children and all in in our country also in another you know for next month they are going to you know start the vaccines either bharat biotech nasir vaccine or uh, other vaccine injected vaccines are available next month definitely it will come in uh, no this uh, october or uh, now definitely you no know, all the children should be vaccinated first they will start vaccinating uh, 12 plus so 12 plus people and again they start vaccination from uh, both the age of 5 and 12 these are the you know uh, papers uh, ready so in mostly another you know 4 weeks to 8 weeks time definitely government announced to take uh, uh, pediatric vaccinations for covid 19 yes so till then if they are you know by the time that we roll out a program for children Uh, Mr. Krishna Kitur is also asking a similar question. Grandson is in Dubai, four years old. School is asking all children to come back to the school from October. Uh, by the time that they get, even in India, by the time that they all are vaccinated, what are the precautions that children will have to take? You have already spoken yeah. about it once more, Doctor Keys. Yeah, correct. Children, sir. So before uh, taking a uh, uh, vaccination for children. all the you know uh, home people like the you know grandfather father mother everybody should take vaccination 18 plus people in india scenario this is very clear cut 18 plus all now we are giving vaccinations to doses so around the clock 24 by 7 we are giving in uh, chennai and all so all the all the places throughout india so in the school going children first seniors to you know we have to protect the seniors first all the you know uh, school workers teachers and the management people again people uh, drivers all except everybody and everybody follow all the covid appropriate behaviors and uh, the once the vaccine is ready for the children by the government so we have to start immediately so this is the recommendation as of now even single dose of vaccine for parents they allow them to the children allow to uh, go to school with the utmost precautions using the uh, sanitization mask and the physical distancing so this way slowly we can you know extend the classes like uh, now 9 10 11 12 started again uh, in the in a, in a two weeks to two months time they start full fledged everybody without you no know, uh, if the third wave is not you know, coming up in a big way definitely so we can uh, start all the school going children before that as per the recommendation of government will uh, will start the vaccine for children also that is a uh, very, very important because in children if you take uh, five plus children they are all a growing immunity so they may not have much symptom or disease at all they have little cold cough even adult if you take 80% of the people they have silently they have a covid infection only 20% of people they have the uh, symptoms of covid fever cough and fatigue diarrhea etc only 5% of the covid infected people only they go to the hospital regular in the covid care center covid hospitalization and 2 to 3% may require the icu care so this is the way children predominantly 90% they won't exhibit any symptoms at all 10% may exhibit minimal symptoms and rarely one or two person may require hospitalization This is a statement given by the ICMR and the All India Institute of Medical Sciences Director Sandeep Gloria and all the senior faculties of in Chennai. We have a Institute of Child Health. Last week also we had a meeting from epidemiology from uh, epidemiology from the ICMR. They said very clearly, children they have a positive uh, growing immunity, they have a more regeneration capacity, and they have more fighting capacity. They have a clear lungs. so they may not affect much in third wave this is the statement given by the icmr expertise so only we can start vaccinating once the government is announced we can start giving vaccinating to the children also okay then doctor this uh, chandan's question jo puchte hai i'll ask the unhone hindi mein type kiya hai i'll just read out the question in hindi covid shield co vaccine ke bich mein jo farak hai there are certain restrictions he has to fly to gulf country He has got his uh, co-vaccine done. 
but uh, there are restrictions on covaxin why is this so and do i need to get yet another vaccine to go out of the country yeah see the covaxin covid shield uh, the uh, no uh, travel restriction all because of the who uh, recommendation the who has to give a certificate that yes covaxin is uh, safe to take the vaccine and travel anywhere else so now we have applied for biotech as well as the uh, covid shield people they applied the who saying that a lot of people they are going to fly to western world why in other areas for that uh, travel restrictions so they have eligible to you know uh, uh, give okay to that covaxin people and covid shield people and all there is some you know discussions going on with the who chief and all so uh, it it will take time so little you know time factor otherwise uh, no definitely they will allow all the travelers to go to the various uh, you know places provided they have to vaccinate either uh, no particular vaccine available in the particular place that's all right so chandan ji aap aaram se rahiye aa jayega agar aapka covid ko vaccine ke sath vaccination hua hai to aapko barabar bahar jane ka mauka badi jaldi aa jayega is what doctor saab ka kehna hai because uh, uh, yet another interesting question is somebody had uh, a uh, sinovac outside uh, mr krishna kitur's question from other countries they had a vaccine which was under uh, issue now they are in india do you think that they should get indian available vaccines yeah definitely so in indian settings uh, we take either covishield or covaxin whether uh, no they have taken in the previous uh, countries uh, no uh, chinese vaccine or other vaccines but indian settings the recommendation is very clear so you are not vaccinating in other foreign countries once you come to india and settle here you must follow our uh, no uh, recommendation to take a covid vaccine already you finished one dose of vaccines here you want to get uh, other dose bit you have to again start from either covaxin first and covishield first as per the recommendation so this is a clear cut right. guidance from dice yes. right. so next question is uh... Mr. Jay Singh Rai's question: Can a lactating mother continue to breastfeed after taking Corona vaccine? Do we need to stop for a while or to continue? Yeah, yeah. There is a clear-cut recommendation. There is no need to stop breastfeeding. We can continue the you know uh, breastfeeding. Even uh, the lactating mothers, clear-cut recommendation is there. Pregnant ladies, they can take vaccination. Lactating mothers, they they can take vaccination. Even after vaccinations, safely they can feed the baby with the breastfeeding. There is no issue in that. There is no contradiction. Is it safe? There is no need to stop breastfeeding. Yeah. Right. Indira Kurala ji, ask them. I am 63 year old female and an HL patient. Uh, got very high fever for 15 days after first dose of vaccine. Oxygen level went down to 76 on fifth and sixth days. Still, do not understand if it is a breakthrough corona or not. Yeah. So these type of uh, no, case scenarios after vaccination, persistent fever and all, whether is it a vaccine induced. Uh, or is it a non vaccine induced any other illness there is a 70 paper presentation even after the covid vaccination previously simultaneously incidentally patient had some other infections during time of covid without any symptom exhibition so once the you know he, he took the vaccine or she took the vaccine after that he developed a symptom this is unlikely to be associated with the covid related events mostly this may be the uh, non covid related incidental other infections we have to rule out simultaneously whether other uh, infectious causes like tuberculosis or other pneumonias other uh, infectious because in india we have a lot of uh, no, infectious now this is the seasonal changes monsoon changes lot of fever lot of uh, uh, infective causes more than 10 days 12 days hn and on swine flu all very common in our places seasonal changes almost this is most likely is a non vaccine related issue only so we for the Infection, blood parameters, check clinically and uh, investigation wise, we can finish diagnosis. Very rarely, this may be the vaccine induced uh, issue somehow. So, vaccine induced problem very rarely we get some traumatic disease, some vasculitis, other uh, reasons. They may develop some you know, uh, infections and all. So, there are a lot of uh, things is going on because this is a human disease, COVID-19. We are settling for more than 19, uh, 20 months only. So clear cut pictures it will come after six months or near. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Abdul Rahman's question: I am a COPD patient. I am taking inhalers for uh, shortness of breath. Can I take vaccinations? Yeah, COPD is one of the factors to develop any infection. If infection in a COPD patient, they may require hospitalization definitely. 
So provided you must, uh, the patients with the COPD, they have to take, continue the inhaler regularly and take all the vaccination, not only COVID vaccination. COPD patients are eligible to take a regular annual flu vaccinations and pneumococcal vaccination and other adult vaccination. Apart from the pandemic, definitely COPD patients, COPD is one of the chronic lung disease, COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. They have to take first uh, the uh, COVID uh, vaccinations, very, very important. Otherwise, and if, you, if you don't take COVID vaccination, if you develop any COVID infection, the severity will be there. So very difficult to come out from the this uh, exacerbation. We call it as a lung attack. Any COPD worsening, COPD with the infective exacerbation due to any infection, mainly COVID infection, the recovery chances of uh, recovery is uh, uh, no, very uh, no, very less. That's why we are recommending to take all people those who are having chronic disease. In lung disease, the chronic disease commonly we see is the COPD, that is a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Definitely, you must take a first injection. You, you have to have the uh, two doses correctly. Then only you have to protect against the infection like COVID induced worsening recurring hospitalization. Yes, ma'am. Okay, done. Uh, Mr. Nutan Kumar is asking this question. On uh, 23rd August 2021, I have taken second dose of COVID shield vaccine. But on 1st September, I had to take an anti rabies vaccine due to a dog bite. But I've heard that the gap between these two vaccines should be 14 days. I have already taken the vaccine. So, will that be any, will there be any effect? Yeah. As of now, the recommendations very kind. Uh, any vaccine between the two doses, whether COVID and flu, you must give a two weeks gap. So, any vaccination, you must give the two weeks gap is more than sufficient regarding COVID and other vaccines. If you want to take a other adult vaccine, I want to take a flu vaccine and pneumonia vaccine. Same source, same city, you can take a both arm, you can take a pneumonia and flu. But COVID and flu and all, you must wait for two weeks time. Suppose you finish the term, second dose of COVID uh, last week means we will wait for another one week to take other doses of vaccine like a flu or whatever the adult vaccination. So this is the recommendation very clear. Okay? Two weeks gap is... No, he got dog bite, doctor. Dog oh, bite, no, anti-rabies. Yeah, right. Two weeks later, he is eligible to take vaccine. Two weeks later. No, but he's already got his second dose. Uh, he, he's already got his vaccination. So will that create a problem? Between 14 yeah. days only, he got a vaccination done. There is not much of uh, no worry about that. There is uh, there is no clear cut study that uh, no vaccinated people like vaccine, killed vaccine. There are a lot of trials going on. As of now, very clear cut. Two weeks gap is sufficient to take other vaccination. If you take a oh, within two weeks, I have put the vaccine of other. Uh, Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Don't worry. We have to observe symptomatically any issues there. So we have to address properly. We have to follow with your family doctor. This is very important. Right. Uh, Mr. R. Ramaswamy is asking this question and also to continue the same question, registered user ka question, we will continue. Katnu. Will pranayama improve lung capacity? Can we practice pranayama? I am 62 year old with controlled diabetes and BMI. And also to continue, uh, how? what are the Severity of uh, COVID infections in children, especially kids who have been diagnosed with lung uh, infections in the past, like pneumonia, and what are the precautions to be taken if they are more vulnerable? Okay. The first is uh, role of pranayama. This comes under the breathing exercises. It will improve your lung capacity. There is no doubt at all. During pranayama, your oxygen carrying capacity and the lung capacity, the vital capacity, everything will improve. Pranayama is one of the breathing exercises. If you don't go for any brisk walking, just aerobic exercise you can do. Same way, pranayama is one of the breathing technique we follow. We teach in our rehabilitation department. Pulmonary rehabilitation we do. We do a lot of breathing exercises like incendiary spirometry, three ball meter, breathing without. While breathing without, there is a no, there is incendiary spirometry, the ball will go up and down. These exercises, the lung exercises are very, very important. The two breathing exercises. In pranayama, there are a lot of varieties of pranayama is there. All it will improve the, uh, the lung health, improve oxygenation, improve the lung capacity. So pranayama is one of the very, very important adjuvant treatment modality we follow in a rehabilitation department. Rehabilitation medicine, rehabilitation medicine and uh, pulmonary rehabilitation, that too, very, very important. Pranayama is a wonderful to everybody. So we recommend you to do all people, any kind of, whether you are diseased or non-diseased, do pranayama is one of the important lung exercise, lung program. So very good to go about that. And the children, other question, what's the other question you have regarding children? Uh, children who had uh, mild lung infections like pneumonia and children who are uh, vulnerable to lung infections, 
how can we protect them and uh, yeah. will pranayama also help them yes children pranayama is very very important to have a you know protective effect uh, over the you know uh, environmental factors and children those who are already having some primary complex or asthmatic bronchitis or cystic fibrosis any chronic lung disease or any other disease they have to protect against the other infections uh, like the flu and pneumococcal and covid so for pneumococcal we have children vaccination and flu we have a pediatric uh, injections available for uh, influenza and other vaccinations we have to follow mmr and uh, the apoptosis there are a lot of vaccination program for children those who are having a uh, risky to develop uh, lung infections we have protective vaccination for children and we have to follow the protective uh, thing like wearing a mask prevent unnecessary exposure to the dust and pollen pollution not only infection the wearing a mask is a uh, protection against not only the infection it will prevent the allergens suppose asthma child if you go and play in the you know uh, 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 roads and a lot of fume inhalation may cause uh, asthma attack to prevent that wearing a mask and avoid pollution all very important protective measures against the children so wearing mask is important thing one of the important uh, preventive strategy for children also and vaccination so very much vaccination all important thing we have to follow in children also this is the tip so uh, as we come to a conclusion of the show doctor i would there are a lot of people still asking about booster and uh, getting their variant of uh, vaccine again second variant of vaccine dose again so we, i would want you to conclude with this having a booster is important or not definitely booster or the third dose of vaccinations are very, very important the government strategy who and the icmr is going to announce quickly so we have to take a third dose and we have to do the you know, third dose or booster dose like there is a slight change in terminology third dose is different from the booster dose and we follow for flu every year the, the, the standard dose this is not a booster dose likewise in covid also whether to take a booster dose or not or third dose or not research is going on so we have to wait for the government recommendations and the who recommendation till then we have to take care of uh, smsv that is a sanitization mask and the social distancing or physical distancing plus vaccinations all important first to protect ourselves keep our environment clean wear the mask wherever you go out so take all adult packs not only for covid vaccine we have other vaccinations also in adult flu and pneumococcal the lot of vaccine please go ahead with the do go and take the all the vaccination to protect your health to have a very good and happy healthy aging this is my take on this uh, final conclusion ji thank you so much doctor uh, for your patience and valuable uh, uh, experience uh, with us today but before uh, you leave i would want you to give me top tips to conclude shubha nair's question i would take up and say how do i protect and uh, convince my people to get vaccination can you please give me top tips to how to convince people to get vaccinated vaccinations or shot is a very very important protective against the infection not only infection many disease in india we are all struggling with the jaundice cancer liver cell cancer cancer cervix in female populations if you take the vaccines there is 80% protection against these type of uh, uh, liver cancer and the uh, cancer cervix now we are all struggling with the covid disease so we have effective vaccinations more than 70 80 90 percent protection against these type of vaccination unnecessary hospitalization can be avoided by taking this vaccination we have adult vaccination program like a children's vaccination we have adult vaccination not only for covid we have a flu annual flu and the pneumococcal pneumonia vaccination is there because lung infection pneumonia is the third leading cause of death in the world if you take the top 10 causes of mortality death rate this is the third important cause of death is the infection of the lung that is pneumonia the two nowadays we are all struggling with the covid pandemic so vaccinations is one of the standard protective good varaprasad to take care of our you no know, uh, our body our society our world so kindly please go ahead and take the vaccination and protect yourself till then you wear the mask and all appropriate behavior to follow vaccinations are very important strategy kindly go through the guidelines recommendations as of now new we uh, you know, uh, list the guidelines strictly adhere to the doctor's recommendation so with that uh, uh, be safe follow all smsv sanitization mask and social distancing vaccination to prevent infection everything so thank you very much thank you doctor that was nice and uh, 
to conclude to to give you uh, one one piece of advice that i am looking forward from you one reiteration when do you think that the world will be getting over covid yeah two weeks before uh, we had a meeting with uh, who world health organization chief scientist at the soumya somnathan she is a madam is my teacher in icmr and madam is from our uh, part of uh, you know india that is uh, kumbakonam in uh, south india tamil nadu so two weeks back we had a uh, no uh, conversation with other uh, epidemiology scientists in icmr madam said very clearly in the paper also news also you know came up so 2022 end so we had to be careful so now the third wave so may come or may not come we don't know definitely come in a minimal form so up to till 2022 so we have to be careful 2023 definitely so we remove the mask and we have to follow all the normal uh, thing so till 2022 we have to be careful and follow all the proper behavior we follow the recommendation guidelines from who this is the scientist statement so we have to adhere and follow till 2022 we have to be careful and wearing a mask not only protect the infection it protect against the allergens allergic diseases in our, in in the world in our place lot of pollution so you, to avoid pollution we have to keep our environment very clean and uh, wearing mask is important thing protect against the infection and pollution part. so with that uh, i think we got thank you doctor thank you so much once again for this wonderful time on sunday and uh, thank you once again audience for asking these in- important questions if i could not take any of your questions i'm sorry because it's lack of time dr uh, jeraman can be consulted on apollo 247 app as well thank you so much for your uh, uh, joining today for your time thank you doctor so ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining us today and now it's your chance to win health quiz is coming up i'm going to ask you three questions you can answer these questions over chat and winner's name will be announced towards the end of the show If you are declared a winner, if I've announced your name, please contact us back by writing to us at marketing at apollo247.com, and we shall send you the gift vouchers. So here's your question number one for today. As per WHO, World Health Organization, what is the official name of coronavirus? I repeat my question number one. As per WHO, World Health Organization, what is the official name of coronavirus? Official name of coronavirus? क्या है? आप लिख दीजिए आंसर एंड आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर आंसर्स एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू व्हिच कंट्री हैज मेड वर्ल्ड्स फर्स्ट डीएनए बेस्ड कोरोना वैक्सीनेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू आई रिपीट व्हिच कंट्री हैज मेड वर्ल्ड्स फर्स्ट डीएनए बेस्ड कोरोना वैक्सीनेशन आंसर बहुत इजी है सो क्वेश्चन नंबर टू आ गया क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री मैं पूछने वाली हूँ विच प्रीमियम मेंबरशिप प्लान ऑफ अपोलो ट्वेंटी फोर एप provides you with benefits like free delivery of medicines 24 hours emergency doctor on call and many more privileges answer bahut simple hai maine clue bhi de diya hai which premium membership plan of apollo 247 provides you with the benefits like free delivery of medicines 24 hours emergency doctor on call and many more keep answering let me see if the answers are coming in uh, sars cov 2 covid 19 USA and India. I suppose that's a question number two. Can answer. Okay, let me see. Circle. Uh, before I get the winners, let me also thank you for getting vaccinated, and let me share a wonderful program that Apollo is doing. This is rewards for vaccination. If you have got vaccinated from any of the Apollo channels, we want to reward you for keeping India safe. Please do come. and get vaccinated or send somebody who's uh, who requires vaccination get vaccination by vaccination through apollo channels and you can claim rewards like 150 rupees discount on first first virtual consultation on apollo 247 also 10% discount on medicines if you book through apollo 247 free lens card and gana membership for 3 months so that's it directly walk in and get your vaccination done get your vaccination done and keep india safe now let me see who our winners are The winners are Reshma Santosh, Tejinder Brar, and Nuthan Kumar. Congratulations! Please write back to us and claim your uh, uh, gift vouchers from Apollo Twenty Four Seven. Thank you all for joining uh, us today. Here's the discount voucher H H Two Four Seven. Use this code to get up to one hundred and ninety nine rupees off on first online consultation with Apollo doctors and up to fifteen percent off on uh, medicine orders. Thank you again. Please vaccinate yourself and your loved ones. Keep India safe. This is Health Hour signing off. See you next week.